I really do hope she's not stuck on June. No, trust Felicity. She'll work it out. So neat. You're really good at that. Oh, perfect incision. Daryl Rivers, surgeon. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? You already want to be a doctor. Well, Sally's right, Daryl. Aim high. Now, remember, you're trying to identify the swim bladder. <coughs> oh, I feel faint. I need air. <sighs> Let me fetch you a chair. Maybe a crown. Good idea. Take a seat, Gwen. <sighs> Mr. Parker, there's something in our fish. Is it a coin? It looks really old. Spanish? Goodness, it's gold. I think it's a doubloon. Gosh, that's amazing. The fish must have swallowed it. What if it's from the pirate ship? The one that sunk in Mallory Bay? The cruel captain's treasure? If it is, well, the start of the term. Look, Connie. Please cheer up. I think it's going to be great here. It was pretty great at our old school. Everything was easy. You mean boring? They didn't even do science. And what if we're useless at it? Everything will be all right. Because we're together. You must be the Batten twins. Constance, Ruth, you are late. Come along. I will take you straight to class. show the new girls. Mr. Parker is teaching them about the pirate battles. Oh, they'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> we mustn't have too much fun, though. We need to respect your authority. It's a delicate balance. Go on, then. Stir their imaginations, and soon you'll have them eating out of the palm of your hand. Thank you, Miss Grayling. <laughs> <laughs> The cruel captain ransacked ships, looting everything, including the balloons like this one. Miss Grayling's ancestor, Sir Charles, mounted a counterattack. The pirate ship sank, but the cruel captain escaped, abandoning his men. Imagine that. They went down with their ship. So the captain really let them drown? He chose to save his treasure. I wish they found the cruel captain's ring. Or his pirate mask. I'm not sure a fish could have eaten a mask. Not whole, anyway. As the pirate ship sank, the cool captain ran off with his treasure and hid it. But legend says that Sir Charles spotted him. And that's what you see here. Brave Sir Charles gave chase. During the fight, the cool captain fell overboard and was lost forevermore. So what happened to his treasure? No one knows. Sir Charles hunted until his dying day, but it was never found. You'll find it. Uh, yes. Why not? Like you found Lady Jane's jewels. <laughs> right, girls. Back to class. Daryl, can I keep you just a little while longer? Matron needs a word. Lively lot, aren't they? Your sister and Pocket Johns already seem to be as thick as thieves. Sail down, girls! Ah, uh, uh, Matron! Um, are these our new girls? Yes, indeed, Mr. Parker. Constance and Ruth Batten. Mr. Parker is your new form teacher, girls. But you're, um, man. I am. Well spotted. Everyone, these are your final two classmates. Hello, hello, hello. Let's keep the noise down, please. Now, seats. Thank you. Good luck. 
We'll sit over there. Please may you move. Oh, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Hello, I'm Felicity. Everyone here is super friendly. So, are you twins? Yes, born four minutes apart. Chit chat is for later, girls. Eyes front, back straight. Daryl, would you mind supervising while I talk to Matron? Everyone's to answer the questions Daryl's handing round. It's so I can spot gaps in your general knowledge. Work in silence, Daryl's in charge. I won't be long. Take my seat. All right. Shall we go to your office? Please, may I go to the toilet? It was such a long journey. That's not allowed in lessons. June? Mr Parker left me in charge. Um, as this is your first day? Yes. I'm sure Ruth needs to go too. Well, you can both go. Um, turn left, right, it's at the end of the corridor. Please, may I go to the toilet? No, June, you may not. You let the twins go. They had a long journey and they came straight to class. That's not fair. I really do need to go. I mean, I really, really do. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, but um, please be quick. Sorry about earlier. I'm just messing with Daryl. Do you want to play a prank? But it's our first day. Exactly. No one will tell you off. What sort of prank? Follow me. Let's vanish. They should be back by now, shouldn't they? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll go and fetch them. Uh, no, 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 Felicity. Felicity, I don't think that's a good idea. All right, please keep working. June, Ruth, Constance. Hilarious. Dal must have sent her. So we go back now? No. We wait to see how it plays out. <laughs> June! Where are you? Please, can we go back? No. We have to wait. This is really not on. Um, no talking, I'll be right back. Let's go back in, she might catch us. June. June Johns. What's going on? No idea, I can't find them. This has to be June's doing. Oh, you don't know that. Oh, yes, I do. Not a great start for the twins. Oh, June must have talked them into it. I know, she's so naughty. I wouldn't dare, would you? <sighs> Susan, look at this. I'm Mr Parker and I'm... Girls, you're supposed to be working. And where are the rest of you? And Daryl, did something happen? Well, they... They went to the toilets. What? All of them? No, just the twins. And then June. And then Felicity, but she went to fetch them. And, and then they didn't come back. Yes, I think I understand. Leave this with me, Mr Parker. I'll put a stop to their little game. <sighs> Sit down. You can't be scared of doubt. She's head of lower school. Ruth's right. We should go back. It's 
I hear you have mislaid some of the first formers. Well, they went to the toilet. To the toilet? That's the oldest trick in the book. I'm surprised you fell for it. Um, I checked the other toilets. No sign. If I know girls, they won't be far. Ow, careful. Careful, June. Stop it. Quiet. Oh, look what I found. Wait there. Whose idea was it? Missing class to play pranks is totally unacceptable. I really am ever so sorry, Mr. Parker. Ruth is too. June? It was just a prank. And one you are never going to play again. Do you hear? I expect not to hear anything more from you today. Well, is that understood? Yes, yes matron. matron. Darrell, I think you and I should have a word. I'm so sorry, it just sort of spiralled. You can't let the younger girls run rings around you like that. That's what Miss Grenning said earlier. Well, you're on the back foot now. You need something that reins them in and shows them how we behave here. The first form tea party is an excellent chance for you to prove yourself. Um, but that's today. Yes, a perfect opportunity. I should speak to Miss Grayling. I'm sure she would like to hear all your ideas. I'd like you to move, please. Why should Felicity move? We're twins. We always sleep next to one another. Connie, it doesn't matter. We're in the same room. Come on, I'll help. I'd put that back if I were you. Ah! <gasps> June. I can move. Anything for peace. Thank you, Susan. It's great that the twins can be together. All hail Saint Susan. Well, thank you both. No, it, it, it's fine. Uh, pillow fights are fun. <laughs> June, that is not on. I thought you said pillow fights were fun. Don't you dare. Stop it! June! Stop it! <laughs> Stop! Sometimes she gets people into trouble. You need to be careful. Really, I'm fine. Stop worrying. I'm sorry. It's just the tea party later. It's just my first big event. Oh, well, can I help? If we could get everyone there on time. That would be a start. Consider it done. I, I don't think I am the right person for head of lower school. I don't know how to do it. Daryl, just be you. I mean, how you are with me. You've taught me everything I know about Mallory Towers, and you've been ever so kind. Honestly, Daryl, you've made starting here so much. Felicity, you're a genius. Am I? How? Yes, yes, I've had the best idea thanks to you. Now, come on. <laughs> Down still cross. No, don't worry. Her tempers never last long. Oh, well done, you. Saint Felicity strikes again. Stop teasing Daryl. It's not fair. We're going to have mentors. Daryl's pairing us each with a fourth former. Uh, she's given me a list. Oh, absolutely topping. We can ask them if we're confused about things. Exactly. 
And Daryl says we can have her treats, too. Uh, I'm with her. Of course you are, Mini Rovers. Well, you are with Alicia. Pocket Johns. Uh, Susan, you're with Mary Lou. Clarissa, you're with Gwen. Connie, you're with Jean. And Ruth, you're with Sally. She's really nice. Why can't I be with Ruth? You get your sister. Well, everyone gets mental each, and you are two people. Well, it all sounds a bit dull to me. Let's go. Where are we going? To find the cool captain's treasure. I've heard about a clue in the garden. <laughs> There's supposed to be a plaque about the treasure up here. Did you see the painting? Susan showed us. It's an amazing story. This commemorates the battle of Mallory Bay. Sir Charles put it here. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Sounds like a riddle. It might be a clue to the treasure. If it is, I don't think we're going to find it. Oh, come on. We can't give up that easily. What about asking the locals? They might know more. Fred and his brother Ron are locals. And Ron's a fisherman. Brilliant. We'll start there. You two can cover. We don't want to get into any more trouble. No, you won't. We won't be long. And if anyone asks, just say we've knit to the toilet. Agreed? All right. We'll try the library. Why did you agree? You heard Felicity. They'll be back soon, and we do need to fit in. The first form should be here any minutes. Stop fussing, we're ready. Room looks nice. Cake. G Gwen, can you go and fetch it? Why me? Just go, will you? And please do not drop I'm it. I'm not going to. Just go. Ow! Where's June? She's late. Typical. Well, Felicity isn't here either, is she? Right, has anyone seen my sister? Um, well, yes. She and June went to the toilet. Not this again. Do you really want to explain that to Matron Connie? No, I really don't. I'm sorry. Well, tell me where they are now. I can't. I promised I wouldn't. <sighs> they went to find the treasure. They went to ask Fred and Ron what they know. Ron will be down by his boat. Right, well, I'll get them. Fetch them back. And no, you have to be here for when Scraling arrives. So my first event and my own sister is not here. I have to go. Terrell! Good luck! Uh, put those down. You can't eat those yet. There is a song about treasure. Brave and true, the captain, captain was cruel, cool, but nobody's fooled. Up on a ship, the pair would meet. One shining sword, the other degree. Tumbling, 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 tumbling down, the captain fell. No treasure was found. Tumbling, 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 no treasure was found. That's such fun. We should teach the others. Still no sign of Daryl. Well, at least we have a cake, and I didn't drop it. Oh. <gasps> Gwen. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh, that God. wasn't my fault. <laughs> uh. My hair. Icing is in my hair. Oh. Uh. What are we going to tell Daryl? if we did. Felicity, what are you doing? The tea party. Daryl, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Is something wrong? Yeah, they're just really late for something. Come on. But we haven't finished investigating. To find the treasure. June, it's ridiculous. You shouldn't even be on the beach anyway without permission. It's against the rule. We really are sorry, aren't we, June? We just forgot the time. Right, come on. Run. I mean it. They're fun. I'm not sure Daryl thinks so. Oh, 
Come on, Daryl, where are you? Alicia, good news. Cook's fixed the cake. She's bringing it now. Never mind that. What are we going to say? <sighs> oh, the teachers are here. Well done, girls. It's wonderful. <sighs> Where's Daryl? I'd like to congratulate her. Um, she is bringing the cake. Has anyone seen Mini Rivers and Pocket Johns? Uh, they're with Daryl as well, aren't they? Yes, they're also bringing the cake. Is it very heavy? It's absolutely immense. Is something going on? Pretty sure there's not. But best ask Daryl. <laughs> Daryl, how's the cake? Um, the cake? Yes, June is helping with it. Mr. Parker was asking. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, yes, <laughs> they have been ever so helpful, really top notch. Excellent. Daryl, matron tells me you have a new idea you would like to discuss. Yes, yes, to help the first four, yes. Do you think that's about us? As you know, this tea party is to welcome our new girls. It's traditionally the first event organized by our new head of lower school. And I think we can all agree that Daryl, along with Alicia and Gwen, have done a terrific job. Bravo. <laughs> now, I believe you all have heard about Daryl's rather splendid mentor idea. You new girls, the fourth form are a Special bunch. Enjoy your time with them. Make the most of it. But for now, welcome to Mallory Towers. Uh, there's um, just one more change to the mental scheme. Uh, Alicia, you are with Felicity now, and June, you are with me. Have fun, everyone. Daryl, I really am sorry. You can't I be with you? I know I let you down, but no. That's not why I switched, all right? I, you apologized and I know you mean it. Really, don't worry. Go on, chat to Alicia. Don't worry. Uh, June, I need to talk to you. It's not fair if I'm in trouble and she's not. Felicity apologized and I haven't heard you do the same. Right, what about earlier with the twins? You ducked out from apologizing to them. That is inexcusable. Carry on like this and you'll have no friends whatsoever. You're, going to have a great time here. You're right. I won't do it again. I know you had to leave your last school, June. Alicia told you? She really wants you to stay here. But I am really trying. Honestly. Well, you, you do seem to get yourself into scrapes. Maybe I can help. All right, go on and get some cake before it's all finished. We also have a lot of fun. We turn the teachers to blue with sweets ones. <laughs> Just tell Daryl you two. Uh, is there something wrong? I know we should have told you where Felicity and June were when they left school. You won't tell Matron, will you? Of course not. Um, actually, it was pretty decent of you for covering like that earlier. You uh, could have dropped June in it. So we're not in trouble? No, quite the opposite. Um, I can tell you two are going to fit in just well. I can tell that already. At long last, it's time for cake. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, 